Hello, Your Royal Majesty, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, sunny, nesting, and resting for the royalty of the Zodiac. The moon has now shifted into Scorpio. Thank Goddess, your mind is giving you a break. Now emotions are focusing on self-nurturing. Time to treat yourself like royalty, which for the most part means drawing boundaries. Nope, I won't do this. Yes, I will do that. Mm, I'm going to go to bed early. Drawing lines. Scorpio, that's how you pamper yourself. You've got to draw lines. That makes sense to me because the Leos have like abundant potential like crazy, like you're just like the sun shining. At some point, the sun has to say, eh, I'm not giving sunlight to Pluto today. I'm tired. There's got to be a point when the sun stops, and that's when the sun gets to keep its own light. So it's time to draw boundaries. It's time to nest. It's time to rest, and it's only a two-day period, so don't worry. The world will not collapse while you are taking a break. Zipping to the sun. It's about relationships this month. We're in Chapter 1 of Sun and Aquarius today. Venus is ruling today. Venus is the creation vibration, which means that you will restore balance and order to your concept of relationships today. In the last three days, there has been breakdown, hopefully some breakthrough, when it comes to how you relate, long-term partnerships, marriage, love, etc. Now, today, it's time to restore that. It's time to love yourself. It's time to accept the love God has offered you. It's time to uh, draw in the love that you deserve. It's time to rebalance and restore. Time to heal. And if your heart has been broken or you have felt a loss in the last week, well, today's the day it's time to heal. And with the moon in the Scorpio, you know, tell Pluto to fuck off and give the energy to you. And Saturn. Saturn has gone retrograde today. Saturn is retrograde. What that means is you get a break on the mind games. Thank God us for that. For the last six months, Saturn has been pounding you with your mind games, how you think and how you think poorly and your mind traps and your booby traps and your worry and all that crap. Your self-judgment, all of that. Whoa, lots of rhetoric going on up there. But now between now and June, no new mind games are going to happen. You're going to have memory of the mind games. You're going to be reflecting on them. You're going to start to make new decisions. Maybe I shouldn't think about that. Maybe that doesn't serve me. All right. And for you messengers out there, your stand-up astrologers, your writers, anyone out there who is sending out message, time for a break. All right. Take a break. We don't need you to go out there with your bullhorn again until June 13th when Santa goes direct. So you've got some time to write the book, reflect, and to rewrite your thought process, and your messages. And the universe is not going to publish you until June anyway, so don't try to push yourself. Trust me on this. I've been doing this for a long time. And it's Wednesday. We've got Skip Jennings, Urban Mystic, going live today. He is doing Chapter 2 of Sun in Aquarius. He's here with a lot of positive affirmation and a seven-day challenge that will help you in your relationships. Don't miss Skip today. He's wonderful, and he's live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. All right, Leo. That's all I have for today. Tomorrow we go godlike with Neptune. Until then... Live, love, be. So God.